technologies try to do. Let's take a look at some of the adhesion promotion technologies. Primers, widely used. The, you get good results. Some of the disadvantages, the primer is a consumable, so it needs to be replaced. And you may have environmental issues in handling or disposing of the primer, the chemical. Direct flame, which is what we're talking about today. Um, very easy to treat complex geometries. To this advantage, it generates heat. Uh, also, direct flame is cost effective. Now, many people believe that the reason why flame works is because of heat. That's not true. It's because of the reactive species in the plasma reacting with the surface of the plastic or the polymer. Heat is an unwanted byproduct that we have to deal with. Corona treatment is cost effective, but it's difficult to treat complex shapes. And operators can get zapped because you're using electricity to dissociate those oxygen molecules. Atmospheric plasma, which is a new uh, wrinkle on corona, actually uses a carrier gas, such as helium or argon or nitrogen. And so, so it can treat the complex shapes better than standard corona, but then you have the issue of cost and availability of the carrier gas. Now, both flame and corona adhesion promotion technologies, what do they do? Basically, they polarize the surface of the part by oxidizing the surface, and it's on a molecular level. And you oxidize the 